Now, I have played countless hours of Dream League Soccer in my lifetime. I've survived all the different metas from long shots to long through passes, then back to long shots, then back to long through passes. But the one thing that remains essential to win Dream League Soccer is player's stamina. Low stamina will destroy you when you least expect it, which is why subbing off players late in the game and using team boost at halftime are basically essential to Dream League Soccer players in order to preserve the precious stamina they need to score goals and win games. So I wanted to find out out if I had what it takes to win an entire real team event without the self-determined essential tactics to preserve stamina. I wanted to make my players run as slow as possible but still manage to win 9 games before losing 3. The rules of the challenge are simple. I pick a team of 11 players and try to win a real team event. During the event, I am not allowed to sub on any players during any games, and I am not allowed to modify the team in between games. The only exception is for injuries, since Dream League Soccer doesn't allow you to play with injured players. Team boosts are also limited, as I will be granted one team boost for every two wins I get. They can then be collected and used whenever I want. So, can you beat a real team event in Dream League Soccer without stamina? To begin a real team event, we need to pick a team. Now, a lot of thought needs to be put into this team when attempting a challenge like this, and in this particular event, we have some pretty solid options. Every team must be analyzed carefully in order to give me the best chance at winning. Nah, uh, we just picked Manchester City. They have Hallen and De Bruyne. Well, what can I say? We then entered the event, picked my 11 players, and we were ready to start our first game, where Dream League Soccer took a huge dump on my face. No way, come on. That's a center back. Ruben Diaz scored that? No, wow, this guy just this guy just knows how to take long shots, apparently. Dude, my defense is just not existent. Um, oh my god, what is this trolling? What the what what even is that? So with that, I rage quit for the day and decided to attempt this challenge again, but just, you know, on a different day. Okay, new day, different mindset. We're going back with Manchester City. I think we can do it this time. You don't always be the challenge on the first try, so uh, here we go. Second attempt, let's go. All right, game number one's against Everton, so we definitely have the team advantage, and for now, we have the stamina equivalence. So, okay, here we go. We got the ball to De Bruyne. I mean, we have that shot open, and I I missed it. But Mares is back post, and okay, this goalkeeper's actually killing me. Allen got a good header though. There we go. Can't stop that one. That was a bullet. All right, Grealish has got the ball here. Let's see. I mean, we have a pretty solid angle now. Nah, we have a pretty solid pass to Mares. That was way better. Obviously, no stamina, so we're gonna let that team boost expire. And here we go. All right, Grealish, let's whip that one in. And Mares with the header. Oh, okay. Did that? Uh, that tipped off his defender, didn't it? Laporte with the header. Oh wow, my header game is strong right now. And that's our first rage quit. That actually might help save our stamina. Hold on, hold on. And just like that, we have our first win on the board, signaling the start of one of the hardest and longest challenges that I would attempt in Dream League Soccer. And with only eight more wins to go and minimal stamina lost, I was set for the next game. If, you know, I could find one. Dude, does no one play this game? Like, what's going on? All right, we got ourselves a match against Manchester City. I feel like this one might be a little harder. I think I'm just gonna go for this with Haaland. I mean, it's, it's possible. It is possible! I, I thought that was going in. Ooh, nice pass from Grealish to Haaland. Um, okay, this guy really loves slide tackling. I almost got a penalty. Like, you cannot get closer to a penalty than this, can you? All right, let's try to sw smack it in with Haaland. It worked this time. Are you kidding me? Ederson, no, 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 no. Ederson, Ederson. Dude, okay, why? We have not made it to our second win either, so we are going to leave that team boost as well. All right, pass to Haaland. Here we go. Um, Let's just shoot. Let's just shoot. There we go. There's the penalty we've been waiting for. And can Haaland bury it? Yes, he can. We won our second game of the run in easy fashion, but not without some sacrifice, as Mares was already on orange stamina. So I decided that swapping Mares to defensive mid might save him some stamina for the rest of the event, and I went on to play game number three, which to my surprise actually came rather quickly. Oh hey, who could have guessed it? We we're facing another Manchester City. I mean, if a team has Haaland and De Bruyne, 286 overalls, I mean, how are you not going to pick them? And okay, what's even going on here? Ooh, nice pass, Haaland. We got to shoot on the weird angle. You are Haaland. You are great at this game. Ooh, can Bernardo Silva send the best pass in the world, even with low stamina? Haaland still gets it. Okay, 
Um, he's not running as fast as I want him to, but he can get a nice pass to Grealish, and he can finish. All right, half time. We are up 2-0. Uh, I think I'm going to save the team boost. I do have one available, but uh, I am winning 2-0, and I want to save it for one where it's a little more intense. I hope I don't regret this right here. There it goes. I didn't end up scoring in the second half, probably due to my refusal to use a team boost, but my opponent didn't score either. We just destroyed three opponents in a row. The stamina of my players is mostly green, and we have a team boost available should I have any trouble, eliminating any possibility for something to go wrong. Yo, I ran Walker back, anticipating that pass, yet I still messed it up. All right, Halland, um, okay, Grealish, Grealish, we have a pretty solid shot there. Oh, boom, oh, what? What? How? How, how do you save that? I guess I just won too many in a row. Okay, Cancelo. Oh my god. Oh, I think the low stamina is starting to kick in. I think it is. This is just ridiculous. Well, that sucked. I think we're starting to see the ramifications of this challenge. No one in my team has green stamina except for my defense and Bernardo Silva right now. This might just be a team boost game no matter what, just to see if I can get more stamina on my players. Oh, come on, man. Is that just what you do? You just shoot with your right foot with Haaland? Like, this is just ridiculous. And just when you thought last game was heartbreaking, Ederson just let in the weakest goal I've ever seen. But luckily for me, I was able to get myself a corner and score an RNG goal right back. With the game tied, nothing could possibly stand in my way now. Doesn't even do anything, though. Oh my god. Like, Ederson has full stamina, too. He should be... I, I don't understand. But yeah, like I said, I think this one's going to be a team boost no matter what. So there's my only team boost I have. Come on, Halloween, shoot with your right foot. That's what works. Okay, we lost the previous game super badly and got behind in this game twice. But it's the 83rd minute and we can just draw this game and move on to the next one. Yeah, I, I think you know what I'm setting up for. No, come on. You... No, you got to be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me! I misclicked for the stupid corner! And Ruben Diaz has full stamina! Come on! I had a chance to draw this game. Or maybe even win it. And then, oh my god, what a joke. So, after winning the first three games, we just lost two straight. If I keep this up, the challenge will end, and I will have to do it all over again without this amazing three-win start. But with the stamina looking bad and the momentum not on my side, the Dream League soccer gods decided to bless me. Well, I see the type of opponents they are giving me now. Um, yeah, please give me a rage quit. That would help my stamina so much. Okay, this is the life we needed. Full stamina! And we got a team boost with that. Wow, rage quits actually do wonders. That is just great. Oh wait, okay, Grealish still doesn't have any stamina. Now with the momentum back in our favor and the juice back in my players, I started out the next game by pulling off one of the greatest plays I've ever done in Dream League Soccer. You think I can pull this off? I really hope so. I really hope so. I really hope so. You're not missing this time. I planned that. Then, after failing a bunch of chances, but still defending and stalling for 70 minutes, electing not to use my team boost, we secured the bronze medal. Well, we have five wins, we need four more. We can only lose one more, which means we have to win four in a row, which is no easy task. As for stamina, oh wow, it's actually looking pretty good. I didn't even team boost. Okay, um, great. And speaking of team boost, we have one team boost left, and uh, if we win the next one, we get another one. So I'm uh, we're really hoping to win this one. The plan was flawless. My team basically had full stamina. I had a team boost just in case case the juice was loose i just had to rely on my dream league soccer skills to win which everybody knows i have all right manchester city game eight. Oh god Ooh, nice feed to de bruyne no he took oh i thought de bruyne would have a better touch than that i've had the possession for a lot of the time still haven't scored all right let's hope that's, that turns out useful uh, my defense sucks oh my god oh Come on, Howland! Let's go! Thankfully, I was able to barely draw the game at the final possible moment and save the challenge, but not without some sacrifice, as I would enter the next game without a team boost and less juice in my players. I really do think that rage quit we got in the middle basically saved this entire run, because there's no way I was able to win like with that low of a stamina and with Grealish almost dead on the floor. 
All right, right foot long shots with Haaland. Okay, <laughs> I mean, at least we got a corner. And we are nil-nil at halftime once again. This is reminding me so much of the last game. Look at the possession again. I'm just hoping we can come out on top this time and not have to draw and lose stamina for nothing. Also, this time I don't have a team boost, so it's obviously going to be harder. Okay, don't let Haaland walk. Come on, long shot. Wow, thank you. And that's a rage quit, which means we get full stamina, basically, and another team boost. We now enter game 10, only needing three more wins with a team that has now fully recovered thanks to that very generous rage quit. So the only thing standing in our way was just another Manchester City team. Why must Kyle Walker be so slow? Why must Kyle Walker be so slow? Thank you for missing, basically. Hold on, he turned it over. He turned it over. Mares, take a free goal. Why? Just take the free goal! This guy gifted you a goal on the, on a silver platter, and he shoots with his right foot a, directly at Ederson. This is just ridiculous, man. I cannot afford this. I'm not gonna team boost because uh, I didn't team boost last game, and I, and I actually won. So, uh, yeah, that, there's my, my strategy. Maybe my players will work a little harder if they don't have a team boost, you know? Come on, another corner. Come on, yes! There we go. We finally score one of them, one of them. I swear, if he scores this, I'm gonna freak out. Okay, come on. Come on, Ederson. And wait, they injured Grealish. Wow, I, I'm actually surprised we've gotten this far without an injury, and it finally happened. There we go. I ran out the clock because that's what he gets for injuring Grealish. We won our seventh game and secured the silver medal, but the journey was still not over as I needed to win two more games without one of my best forwards. <clears throat> yeah, okay, yeah, no, no. I, I hardly noticed I had Grealish on my team. I, I think Foden will do just fine. All right, things are starting to get intense. The stamina is slowly decreasing, but we still have one team boost if we need it. And we need to win the next one no matter what. I just really hope you're really bad because I need an easy win here. Ooh, nice. Haaland, yes! That is a solid turnaround shot, actually. Maybe I was just close enough where it would actually work. All right, long shot with right foot with Haaland. I, that seems to be... Why does that work so well? That doesn't, that doesn't make sense to me. All right, we are up 2-0. You think this is enough? Oh! Nice. I guess it was enough. This guy decided not to play the second half. So with our team stamina replenished once again and two available team boosts, we had all we needed to breeze past this final game. This challenge was mine to lose. All right. Hopefully final game against Manchester United. All right, Haaland. Um, I mean, I've scored on this angle before. Okay, uh, De Gea's pretty good. Oh, wait, he slide tackled me? Well, that's a gift. Let's use the Haaland special. Bang. That's the new Haaland special, by the way, for DreamLinks Art 2023. Um, uh-oh, this isn't good. Um, okay, come on, we can defend. We can do it. Bruno Fernandes is not that threatening. Oh my god, he is. Well, if you want an intense final game, you got one. Haaland has scored a free kick before. Let's see if he can do it again. Oh! Oh my god, I hit the post. Well, weak foot long shot seemed to be the thing! No! No, he injured De Bruyne. Okay, um, all right, Gundogan has, has to come in, but oh no, he's such a good player. Please, Haaland. For De Bruyne, for De Bruyne, for De Bruyne. Oh, I hit a post and a crossbar. This is this just screams Dream League Soccer Final right now. This game is making me stressed out, and uh, this is the game for the gold medal and to beat the challenge, man. This is... This is rough. Well, let's hope this team boost I use right now will be enough. But it looks like people don't have a lot of stamina. At least Cancelo has the ball. He has some stamina. Into Haaland. Please. Please, Mares. Yes! You are the GOAT. No, why? Where is Diaz? Where is he? Please, no, Rashford. Please, no. Why? Why would you go on that side of him? Okay, well, at least Ederson is somewhat doing something. Come on, it's the 90th minute. I have a free kick. I have the lead. Come on, blow the whistle, referee, after I score this, obviously. Oh my gosh, okay, there we go. Wow. And just like that, the challenge is completed. I could go on and say how hard the challenge was, and I certainly expected it to be, but the perfectly timed rage quits and the fact that I had the two best players on my team essentially made this challenge become a regular real team event. But in the end, the result is the same, a challenge completed on my channel, how many times have I said that before? Probably not many. Subscribe for more Dream League Soccer. Wow, so I guess you can beat a real team event without stamina. Thanks for watching.